Welcome back everyone, I'm Genevieve Moongarden and the Beast Moon Monster Mayhem just started. It runs from the 19th of April until the 25th of April 2022. But first it's time for a subscriber salute. Please welcome new subscribers. Slowed Sensitive, Jason Lopez, ABP, Alex Hunter, Joven Lowe, Kevin Tamer, Alex B, Angel Ellies, and Demon Chaos 17. If you're not already in the Beast Moon area, click on that gamma icon at the top right and click on the event and teleport to event. For the Beast Moon Monster Mayhem, it has a couple different things in here. One of them is Meliager. Make sure you grab his quest. He's got the same quest for you every Beast Moon Monster Mayhem. Greetings! Since I cannot partake in the hunt myself, I'd like to offer you an extra incentive to defeat the bosses you'll already sell. So the reward from Excellent. these is Moon Gold the Dust. To make this a for defeating the first boss, <laughs> Good you get one. For defeating the second boss, you get two. And defeating the third boss, you get three. Luckily, you don't have to defeat them all in the same match, because a lot of times you only get through the first boss, maybe the second, unless you're awesome and lucky, sometimes you get it on the very first try. What do you do with that moon gold dust, you ask? Well, I'm glad you asked. The Beastman Crafting Station is right here. Let's check out what's in it. Just to let you know, the Beastman Crafting Station only appears during the Beastman Monster Mayhem, and it has things like treasure cards, essences, gold idols. Gold idols cost 10 moon gold dust to craft. You can possibly get six total from Meliager and then from the Beastman Rewards, they give you an additional four. So that would be your 10 moon gold dust. Obviously it's a spiritual one because we have life, death, probably some myth stuff. There's some myth stuff. So they kind of theme them now. Used, used to be just whatever. Okay, so you can do the Crimson Phantom Treasure Card, some housing items, Death Cyclops Gold Idol, Got some more housing items. You got the essences of life elixir. And what these do is give you more damage, more damage, more accuracy. And the third one gives more damage, more accuracy, and a pip. As far as I've tested, you can't use these in the decathlon. It definitely says no PvP. But they are pretty handy for questing. Infestation, Legend Gong. Okay, we got the Life Fairy Gold Idol and the Myth Draconian. So, as far as I know, they only do three per Beast Moon Monster Mayhem. But it's good that you can craft them outside of getting only one for the Beast Moon rewards bar. Yay, Monster Mash is back. I've been saving up my Moonstone, so let's create some. And this is just for the treasure card. All right, that's all that I could do. Obsidian Colossus, Sprite Swarm, Verma Virtuoso. Honestly, these are not hard to get in the treasure cards. Yeah, really the only ones that are pretty much impossible to get are Inferno Salamander and Monster Mash. I mean, technically the Golem Taunt slash Mutate Golem, whatever they want to call it, is kind of hard to get, but I don't know anyone who wants to max this out. But if you did, you can craft it there. And then, as always, Artemis New Moon is there to answer all your questions about the event. There's the Beast Form upgrades to figure out what all those cool beast forms do, their spells, all that good stuff. A Beast Moon Seed Cultivator, where you craft the seeds, and Acteon, who sells you recipes for all sorts of stuff, like gear and seeds and some transmutes. And remember, any points that you earn for these events right here go towards your scroll of fortune. Yeah, I have absolutely no points in this Storm Decathlon. I didn't even, didn't even start it. All right, for Beast Moon Monster Mayhem, this is the us versus them. This is one team of six people against a whole slew of creatures. How you get points for this? Winning a combat is an unlimited amount you can earn. Two points each. Defeating a beast, you get one point per rank. Also unlimited, thank goodness. Leveling up any beast form, you can get credit for up to five per day at ten points each. And then harvesting a plant, you can get credit for up to ten per day at one point each. The rewards are basically the same every time. You get some seeds, you get some thread. You need those as an ingredient for crafting the gear. Hasty Harvest Treasure Cards, I love these because you can harvest a mature Beast Moon Blossom now. AKA, it doesn't have to be ready to harvest. As long as it's a full looking plant, not the little baby seedling, then you use this on it. It costs 10 energy and you can harvest it right away. I recommend not using these unless you also have double gardening because that's the best. Best, best, best. You get way more drops, obviously. It just makes it more worth it, I think. And then Beast Moon Needles, which you also need for crafting the gear. Obviously, needle and thread. All right, here we go. Fabled Draconian Pet. Ooh, it's nice to see one of these spell cards. I personally like these, the ones that are variants on the regular spells. Typically, they're giving us stuff like 
you know, blades and prisms and traps and stuff. So I like these. And typically the Beast Moon pets also give awesome little talents too, like oh, finding rare treasure cards, which I don't know anybody who's used that and posted any results on there. I can't find any results of what people are picking up with this uh, treasure card finding talent. I would really love to know if you have any idea. And as always, no trade, no sell, no auction, boo. But this is only 200 points. It's very, very easy to get that in seven days. Technically eight. Okay, some more Beast Moon Needles, some Lunari. Yay, upgrade those forms if you wish, or you can also purchase the recipes from Acteon. Those cost Lunari. And there's the four Moon Gold Dust that you can earn from the Beast Moon Bar. And five points, Spiritual Spellaments. Okay, uh, hopefully they'll give us more Spellaments than last time. I was pretty disappointed. They only gave us 20, I think. All right, let's see. For the Beast Moon, yes, they only gave us four pulls of five. That was very disappointing because the previous Beast Moon and Beast Moon Monster Mayhem, we got, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 40 Spellaments on both the Beast Moon and the Beast Moon Monster Mayhem. It really sucks when they go from like giving us eight pulls of five to four that's literally having it so i don't like that give us give us those spellaments if you want people i'm just saying if you want people to use spellaments you might want to have at least one source where they're easy to get but that's just me how do you get into the beast moon right down here join match and here's the thing if you decide you know what i don't i don't really have enough time for this right now because i'll tell you you need at least minimum of a half an hour just saying minimum and that's if you don't do well on the first match uh don't click it again because if you uh, you know gotta go for some reason or something you get timed out for 15 minutes so make sure that you really want to go in press join match again then up at the top here it tells you how many players are waiting and then once there's six there's five already once there's six it'll have a little pop-up here saying ready to go you click i'm ready to go and then as soon as all the other players click ready to go it'll automatically teleport you in so yeah, don't don't like start a battle while this is going. See, there you go, ready to go. Alrighty, now that we're all going in, you're gonna see this for a while, 10 special event points, and it just goes for a while. However many forms that you have unlocked and upgraded, that's how many it's gonna give you. Now, you don't actually get credit for all of these, I wish. I'd be like half done with the Beastman already. Yeah, you only get credit for five, and it does this. I've only seen it do it on the very first wizard that I get on the Beastman on on the very first day. Yeah, so it's just giving you credit for all the ones that you have unlocked and upgraded already. Like this one's already level three, tier three. So I get like 30 points, technically get 30 points for it, you know. All right, you go for it. I'll just go here. Oh, I see you, I see you, Pip. Uh, for me, the number one thing that I gotta say about Beast Moon Monster Mayhem, it's all about communication and also keep an eye on that map up there. The map at the top right. So this is how the Beast Moon Monster Mayhem goes. There are three battles on the outside. Uh, you can decide on your group with you're doing two versus two or three versus two. Just depends on what you guys want to do. And then once these are all defeated, then the spiral opens up. There's a boss fight in there. Only four of the six players can join the boss fight. The other two will be joining one of these mini battles on the outside. And once these are defeated, they give a special bonus spell to the spiral crew. So the outside team is just as important as who's fighting on the spiral. Now a couple things about Beast Moon Monster Mayhem. If you flee, you lose your beast form. If you're defeated, I think it's two rounds. And just say like, you're defeated and you lost, you definitely lose your beast form. But if you're defeated and I think it's only one or two rounds, then you can actually still keep it, I think. Unless they change that. And as I say with most Beast Moon matches, try and be flexible with the beast forms because you're not always going to be able to get the exact same one every single time. So that's why it's a good idea to at least test out more than one, if not upgrade more than one, just in case. Sometimes, like in my case, your computer might be a little bit slower than some people's. And so the ones that you typically prefer to play, they get already picked. Now, some of the downfalls I found with Beast Moon Monster Mayhem. These matches here, they'll give you a little bit of a reward, but if you don't defeat the boss, at the end of each uh, each wave, then you're, you don't get anything. You don't get any Moonstones, you don't get any Lunari, you get nothing. So all that time, yeah, kind of a waste. Although you do get points if you are able to defeat anything, but as I said, it's kind of easy to not get any points in Beast Moon Monster Mayhem. 
However, if you do defeat the boss, you do get one spell element and then some reagents. If you defeat the second boss, you get one more spell element and some reagents and some Lunari, of course. And if you defeat the third boss, you get two spell elements and more reagents and Lunari. So that is equivalent to if you had won your match in Beast Moon Hunt, in which the winning team gets four spell elements. So I like that they did that very evenly. But yeah, for these battles right here, you don't get, um, I think you get like some runes, which honestly, I don't know why they give us runes. We don't get moonstones in the decathlon, so please, can we not get runes in Beast Moon and can we have moonstones instead? Because we need those. Moonstones are very important for crafting in the Beast Moon. Also, this is a timed event, as you can see by the moon with the time counting down right there. You only have a certain amount of time to defeat everything or else you lose. And whenever you finish one of these battles, there's a teleporter here. I suggest just running straight into that thing because you can go grab your health, grab your wisps and run directly right back out. Go to that spiral, get it going, because we have less than five minutes, but it depends on your team, you could do it. And see someone over there is already knowing what they're doing and uh, ready to go. And if you are able to defeat the first boss, it automatically starts the next wave. So don't uh, don't fool around, don't go you know, shopping and looking around, and taking selfies. Nope, just get right into there. Oh, fantastic, that was sweet, so nice, uh -huh. And each concurrent wave gives you more time. But of course, that also means that the creatures get a little harder each time. The first wave has the boss and one minion. The second wave has the boss and two minions. And the final wave has the boss and three minions. Another handy thing about Beastman Monster Mayhem is if your team defeats the creature in the first slot, the team automatically goes first every round. So keep that in mind, that's very handy. Especially in the boss fights. And I was saying about the previous battle, you get a little bit of gold and I got two runes. Now you are able to add two minutes to every wave by finding the Clock Father. Or if you're in the Celestia map, then it's called Time Clam. Yep, because as soon as that hits 10, it's basically over. It does not wait till it's zero. You already lost. Now, it says event points earned 554. Uh, that is not true. This right here, 27, that's all we got. And apparently the monster's got 347. And to leave, you just press exit. Ooh, there's so many people over here. Wow, I never seen anyone with a storm. Hands of fate. Oh, so pretty. Good job, Bradley Raincloud. Alrighty, so we got enough points earned to get the two beast moon seed and the Eldritch Thread. Now that might be it for the Beast Moon Monster Mayhem, but why in the world did I craft all of those Monster Mash treasure cards? You weird storm, what are you doing with those? Well, I'll come over here to my crafting station and show you. You can craft the spellaments for the Beast Moon spells. At least that's what I refer to those spells as. So once you have enough seeds to be able to be Beast Moon, school, seed, gardening. When you harvest those, the first things that you get from those are actually the recipes to crafting the spellaments. Now these, like I said, are the only spells so far that you can craft spellaments for. To craft the spellaments, you need one moon gold dust, which is fantastic. So yeah, I don't have any treasure cards for Inferno Salamander right now, but I do have seven for Monster Mash, but I only have six moon gold dust. So let's craft some. Alrighty, here we go. One, two, three, Four, five, six. All six of the moon gold dust from each of my wizards and then, well, Genevieve here steals them so that she can craft them because she has all of the moonstone reagents. So what do we get from that? Okay, well, I just crafted the uh, spellment six times, so I should have six spellments, right? That is incorrect. Now, I just got 30, I didn't get it, I crafted 30 spellaments. Every time you click that button to craft it once, you get five spellaments. I'm so sad that I didn't learn that sooner. But now you know, I'm passing it on. And I have no doubt that Monster Mash is definitely getting to tier two now. I think it needed like maybe 10 more because they've been really good and lucrative in giving us more Monster Mash spellaments from these battles. The seeds, however, they don't drop it too much. And there you are, you beauty, Monster Mash. Put those in the shared bank. Oh yes, my death will be very happy because Monster Mash is an amazing spell. So thank you everyone for checking out this video on Beast Moon Monster Mayhem. Hopefully it's enough to get you started or maybe you learned something that you didn't know already. 
and good luck on those points and I'll see you in the hunt. Bye!